All right, so I'm in the dashboard. Your staff logs in the morning. Customers, customers, right? They're in the customer screen. They can search for customers here or search for orders. So assuming that a client calls in, says, hey, I want to place an order. You press new customer. You ask, what is your email address? Assuming that they are found, it's going to find them here. If they are not found, then you can proceed and fill in the rest of their information. Okay, so you have an option to press proceed, which will take you to the customer account, or you can place new order, which will take you to the new order screen. So I'm going to say, I want to place a new order for this guy. So we're in the customer screen, new order screen comes up. That's it. Now we add an item, what do you want to buy? So let me just choose a random product. I'm going to buy this product here. It's $44, quantity one, any notes, press save. Okay, product done. Okay, do we have an address for the guy? No, if he was a previous customer, we would have an address. I'm going to type in a new address. Put in the zip code, everything got pre-filled automatically when I did that. Press save. Do you want to save the address? Yes, I do. Okay, how you want to ship it? So we say, was the shipping method? You can put a custom shipping amount if you want to give them some kind of a discount. So we do UPS. How do you want to charge them? Okay, we want to charge them by the credit card. So we're going to do a new credit card. Visa, put in the new credit card, fill in all the information. You can put a drop ship form here, so a lot of fraud protection tools. So assuming that we have an existing card for him, which we don't, or we had a new one, we just say charge or authorize. I can just put some fake card in. Let me, let me put a fake card in. Okay, so fake card got in. So now I press charge. It's probably going to error out. Yeah, see, it declined. But assuming that it wouldn't decline, or he has store credits. See, I can do combined payments, which is his store credits from before. I can either choose the store credits or I can charge the card. And assuming the charge is valid, this settlement task will come up with a process button. And that's it. And then the order is done. That's all your staff is going to be using. Placing new orders or when a customer calls in, they look up him by the email and they see what's going on. Now, if they need to place a discount, they click on discount code. They can either create a discount or they can add a discount that already exists in the system. So that's the other thing they could possibly use. Customer calls in, hey, I need a copy of my invoice. They press invoice and they can press the receipt. They'll get a copy of an invoice or they can just email it immediately without even copying and pasting. They want to email the customer. They can do that as well. Customer calls in and says, I'm not ready to place an order. I just want to get a quote. Same thing. Go to shopping cart. This is linked to his shopping cart on the website. So you say, I want to make a new quote for the guy. Quote. Alternator. It's going to expire next week. It's going to be available on the website. Press save. You can create a discount if you want to give him a discount. You don't have to. Again, I, I'm going to add an item into his cart. Item is in the cart. See, there's a send quote button. Would you like to create a discount? No. Email module opens up. His email is pre-filled. Here is what you want. It expires on this date. Here's a link to buy it. He presses on this link. It automatically logs him in. He just has to put on his credit card and buy it. That's another feature they possibly could be using. Another feature is the guy calls in. Hey, I'm trying to get a status on my order. You go to orders. You could see everything he placed. This is the order I just placed. They can also click on communication and see all the touch points that exist for him. So if he visited the website, if he is a previous customer, if he called in before, what kind of email conversations we had with him. So, hey, I called, I was communicating with Adam and he told me some things. Okay, well, what did he say? You don't have to say that anymore. You can just go to email conversations, refresh, you'll see all the communication you've had with a guy between all the staff. Phone calls, the guy called in, I can say incoming call came in. Interested in a product or upset about his order beginning emotion upset ending emotion very happy you can use this for a score chart to see how your customer service is doing when calls come in if you want to automatically put stuff in here to see how long the calls lasted if you use skype or ring central i can automatically bring stuff in here we use eight by eight 
Is that compatible? If you can see your call history online, then yes, it, it is compatible. Yeah. So as long as the phone number matches one of your contacts, so as long as this phone number will match the phone number that was incoming or outgoing, I, I can map it into the communication. Okay. And all the communication that happens is now inside your touch points. Let me open up Shopping Cart Elite and I'll actually show you an example of a populated touch point. I can probably put you in there. I don't know if you have a lot of touch points, but get in, get some ideas. Yeah, right now I'd probably say 70% of our sales probably call in first. That's great. If they call in and they put in his phone number, the synchronization later will match their phone number to how long the call lasted. Because we look it up by phone number. So here's a big history touch point. See, like we started communication in February. He was on our autoresponder, visited our website. I can double click, see what pages he visited on. Again, this all just works. Like your staff doesn't need to know how to use it. If they want to use it, they just click on the communication tab and they see what's going on. But the majority of what your staff uses is what I showed you. New customer, place an order. If you don't want to place an order, you send a quote. If you don't want to send a quote, you check on the history of his orders if he has a problem and check the status. That's it.